This is Brazilian Ricardo de Gaba Bahia, and he's about to attempt to set a world record for holding your breath underwater. Do not try this at home. But before we find out how long that record is, let's see what he's up against. Previous breath holding attempts uh, have been made by people breathing in just normal air before they start. And the record for this is 11 minutes and 35 seconds. Now, Ricardo has taken this to a whole nother level by breathing in pure oxygen before he starts. So how does breathing pure oxygen help you to hold your breath longer? Normal air contains about 21% oxygen. Uh, the other 79% is mainly inert nitrogen. Now, what Ricardo has done by breathing in pure oxygen before holding his breath, he's flushed out most of that nitrogen. Which means he ends up with about five times as much oxygen in his lungs that we would normally have. Now that we're an incredible 11 minutes into the attempt, what's happening to Ricardo's body while he's holding his breath? Os primeiros 11 minutos é muito gostoso, é muito agradável ficar ali. Você não sente nenhuma vontade de respirar, nenhum incômodo. Mas à medida que o tempo passa e começa a vir as contrações no diafragma, vontade de respirar. The respiratory control center of the brain is very sensitive to changes in carbon dioxide in the bloodstream. As the carbon dioxide builds up in your tissues, you feel this amazing, strong urge to breathe. Of course, this is our body saying, hold on, you're not meant to be underwater holding your breath. Please get some more oxygen. And the longer he's there, the more that instinct is building up. So he needs to train himself and focus so that he can resist that temptation simply to give up to his brain and get out of the water. So pure oxygen and extreme training combined to help Ricardo hold his breath underwater for an astonishing 20 minutes and 21 seconds. Então, uma sensação muito boa de superação, ainda mais de você saber que você está levando toda a humanidade, você está representando, aumentando o limite 